Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Borderwise and welcome back to Slay the Spire, roguelike commentary. Now this is a part two of two parts, so if you want to go back and watch the first one, feel free to do that, but if not, stick around because it's Spire stuff. More Spire stuff. And as I probably hinted in the, well not probably, I actually did a straight up mention, we don't slay the Spire this time around, but one of the wonderful things about roguelites is that it's not the destination, it's the journey. It's the gurney, so to speak, like what uh, your character will need uh, to be wheeled into the hospital with. So, yeah, thinking back on... Uh, damn, that was an excellent shot. Uh, thinking back on this uh, particular playthrough, because, yeah, of course I know what already happens. I've lived through this before. I get to look back at my past mistakes. Yeah, not enough defense. You need to, when the horse goes over defense, defeat go before detail. So you do need a defense because, um, I guess it's like any other game in the entire world in that it is a numbers game. You can break it down to numbers. And once you know your numbers and once you have good numbers, well, then you have numbers, don't you? You have the good numbers. So yeah, it's like... This game, what can you say about Slay the Spire that people probably have, uh, probably haven't said already? I think everything's been said about Slay the Spire. And I say that, and I almost... Yeah, I didn't check. I did not check for absolutely everything that Slay the Spire has been said. I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna try that sentence again. I didn't check to see what people have said about Slay the Spire. I looked at the review number I got, see, back to numbers, and yeah, that's it. Also, uh, on the last video, which uh, people were giving quite helpful advice uh, regarding, say, the Spire, yeah, that card, Clash, uh, completely useless, so good to know that my instincts were right about that. Uh, not a very good card, simply because, well, it's one of those things that's very situational, it requires very specific things to happen. Which is for you to have only attack cards in your hand, and when the hell does that usually happen? Oh uh, boy. So... Yeah, it's like, I actually do pretty well. I get far... I don't make it, but I get farther than I think I was expecting at the time. I was expecting to just get... to die quite early, because... Uh, like I said last time, um, it had been a while when I played this since I'd last played Slay the Spire. So, I kind of thought that it was like, well, I'm gonna completely forget how everything works. And um, then it'll just be, I'll just make a dang fool of myself. But, I know, I think I did quite well for someone who hadn't touched this game for months. Yeah, this is one of the things that runs on my backup laptop. So, I did, yeah, I didn't even play it um, on the computer I recorded this on. Played it on my backup thing. Oh boy, it is... What is it about lightning? It's just like, any time there's you're in a game and you get to lightning something, that's just cool, and I like it. Oh boy. I should mention, like, if I come across as sleepy, it is just because it's very cloudy outside, and it's it's the day has that vibe of, like, man, I don't want to do anything, but... Doing things is important. You can't not do things. Sometimes it's okay to do nothing, but other times you gotta do stuff. That is one of those sentences that's very informative and that, and yet somehow is not really informative or profound at all. Oh no, I have a severed hand. Making me the winner. Oh man. Oh, th this thing, this is like a particularly imaginative enemy, and I love this guy. I mean, by that I mean I hate this guy. But, um, yeah, like the, the book of stabbing is just, there's so many ways it stabs you. Like, really. Also that one relic, I forget which it is, which like, has a weakened effect, like, um, on uh, turn start. That's super useful, and I should get that every time, because it's just real good. And here I'm getting lucky with the blocks, and... Yeah, not enough energy. 
Not enough juice. That is quite... The Thorns is like... I really should have just gone for like a really tanky build, getting a huge amount of cards which either block or just, you know, do stuff like that. Oh, boy. Whee! Oh, how convenient. Anger is a great card. I love that card. Free damage? Yes, please. And big stab. And now I have a wound. Dang it. And flex. I do love that card, flex. But, yeah, like, really, maybe I shouldn't have tried to build my entire card build around it. That would have been silly. And see, I upgrade that card, and then I don't use it. Bravo, Passport Wise. You did very well. And I have insufficient block, and stab, 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 stab. Spectacular. Spectacular, indeed. Oh, boy. See, Entrench would be... See, this is one of the annoying things about RNG games. It's like, that card, Entrench... Um, okay, well, it doesn't matter, because we destroyed the Book of Stabbing, but... Um, that doubles your block, but no block cards. That sucked. I'm not tired. I am not tired, I refuse. I made the very wise decision of not picking Clash again, because Clash is awful. Also, it's funny how the merchant is an hourglass. Alright, I've completely forgotten what past me decided to do... Oh, that's what I decided to do. Maybe I should have actually bought cards. Blessing of the Forge. I don't know. Like, what is it? Is it better to buy relics or cards? Maybe. Maybe it depends. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know video games. Yes, I have a video game channel. That doesn't mean I know video games. There's too many video games. And only one of me. And also, you got to love it when the game... Actually, I think I just had a whole bunch of bad luck um, with this, uh, uh, with this just just this run, uh, because um, like you can see that like the the timing of the cards was bad. Also, these guys like the enemies get difficult as this game goes on. Like, like no kidding, dude. That's the whole. That's how games work. Uh, you better choose right past me. You chose right. You have succeeded! I'm thrilled to be here, honest. Okay, and anger. Actually, I need to look at that uh, again. It's like... Say the Spire. Um, oh boy, I'm almost dead. Yay! Super helpful. Um, so, yeah... Slay the Spire is one of those games that's like, yeah, you, if you try and, uh... And actually, yeah, that that block came in at exactly the wrong time. Because the thing's not attacking me, damn it. Slay the Spire is the game, there's a, so much actual detail in it. Uh, that when you're playing it, you miss it. So, I'm glad that I wasn't the only one who completely missed that, the, what's it, the Dazed card. Um, you just, um... You just kind of, like... It's... what's it? It's like, it's little birdies. It has birds on it. I only noticed that, like, while watching back footage and, like, I wasn't the only one. Thank goodness. Nice to know I'm not... I picked Clash again. You damn fool! Picking Clash like a silly person. Okay, sarcophagus. Writhe. Writhe, writhe, writhe. Uh, what is the thing? Ah, yes, Nunchaku, that's very nice. And at this point, I'm trying to play safe and, uh, not get into fights that I don't have to. And what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do when the bad boys come for you? He's gonna do stuff. Alright, so, I actually was forgetting at what point this run ends, and... I completely forgot that, uh, yeah, we've got a boss fight, and, um, well, this is one of those moments where you can kind of look at the runtime of the video and, like, aha, I know what happens. And, uh, 
Yeah, I mean, I guess, but also, you never know, this, uh, this boss fight might take, uh, a whole 15 minutes. Actually, this is, um... Yeah... I'm trying to think how I feel about this. It was not yawning. I was thinking. There's a big difference. Alright, so, I should not have, uh... I should not have recorded on a cloudy day. That's nap weather, really. Um... What was I saying? Oh yeah, so, one of my pet hates in video games is bosses which endlessly spawn minions, and that's exactly what this guy does. But, I feel it's implemented well, because he doesn't do it all the friggin' time. And, I don't know. Maybe I'll hate it when I fight him again, who knows. Also, I think it because this is a turn-based game, you actually have time to stop and think, and, like, react to what you're doing. And in other games, um, I'm trying to think of a game which really did that. I think, of all games, For Honor. Yes, that For Honor. Uh, which is a multiplayer focused fighting game, which as it turns out is exactly the kind of game I don't like. Um, yeah. Irony that I ever thought to play that. Like, you no, know, I thought it looked cool and I was wrong. But anyway, uh, what the very token single player campaign in that game. Um, there are bosses in which they endlessly spawn minions. Damn, that was a cool effect. It's so pity about what it did to me. Anyway, endlessly spawning minions. Usually quite annoying. Because, well, it's like, well, why didn't you just make the boss more interesting? Because this isn't interesting. He's just got a lot of friends. That's not interesting, apparently. Yay! Dexterity and clash. I mean, it is impressive just how much damage I'm managing to do with the you know, those flex cards, those inflame cards, putting vulnerable on everything, and shrug it off. Yes, you want to do that. Defend, yes. Alright, so that could be a lot worse, but it could also could be a lot better. Sadness. So sad, we just did two damage, bravo. Oh dear, and smack. Ouch. 12 damage. Well done, you. So this is an annoying... Uh, oh, well, actually, no, it's not annoying. Never mind. I'm looking at the cards and thinking how past me did stuff. And, uh... Yeah, we, you know, we're doing okay. We're kicking this dude's ass a little bit. I just noticed, speaking of things you only just noticed, I just noticed his left leg is doing a little sway. Oh, he or she or it is being so casual right now. So casual. Oh boy, yeah, this is a. This is a. This is dicey. You're 20 damage. 20 damage, and look how much hit points I have. Ouch. <laughs> Ooh, playing you, playing. Playing... playing hard? No, what am I saying? Come on, look at your cards. You know what you need to do past board wise Yay, flex. Use your brain. Use your spongy brain. Spongy? Where does that come from? That's a reference to something, but I don't know what it is. Oh, now I know what it is. It's some... Damn it, what the hell is that called? It's, um... Oh, look at that. So cool. Oh, his eyes vanished. His? Hers? It's? Theirs? I don't know. So, yeah, there's a game called... I don't even remember what it is, but yeah, there's like a... Like, in-game... Like, uh, it's a bit of... Like, just a bit of flavor. There's a radio... Uh, there's radio stations in the game. And for the aliens... There's aliens. is like... Bring focus to your spongy brain. And it's an advertisement. I don't... If anyone knows where that's from, please, like, remind me, because I can probably find it somewhere in my... on my game shelf. I have one. I'm old. I have a... I have a shelf full of CD-ROM and DVD games, which... I might actually dip into those. That could be fun. That could be fun and interesting. A lot of them are not very good in hindsight, but you know what? Doesn't matter. Oh, I really need to... 
I've got so many plans for videos now that I'm trying that I'm diversifying. It's so nice. It's so nice, it's so good. Maybe I should become a nostalgia game channel, isn't it? Hey, remember this? Wasn't this fun? If only you could play it now without having to um torrent it. Unfortunately that is where a lot of games end up. It's just they're not sold anymore and the only way to get them is through means which are technically illegal. Don't pirate games unless you have absolutely no other option, please. Uh, games are expensive to make if you want uh, people to make more games and better games. Do pay for them. Speaking to someone who likes video games. I, like, I always have a thought, like, you know, if I was to make a game... That's really hard. I guess anyone who plays video games, or I guess anyone who indulges in any kind of art form, who's a consumer, a patron of the art, so to speak, um, they always at least um, would have some temptation to, I don't know, have a go at it, you know? Because it gives you perspective on, like, how difficult it is. And video games, I outright think it is the hardest art form to do because simply because it's interactive and there's like aspects of pretty much every other art form you care to name um just within it so there's like there's you know just art in general like you're looking at pictures on a screen someone's gotta make it the pictures and there's cinematography because you know you've got a camera a lot of the time uh, and it's like doing movie type stuff, there's writing, because games have writing, generally. I've never found a game that has absolutely no writing in it whatsoever. Like, if you know one, let me know. It'll be interesting to think about. Um, but yeah, it's like... Well, that was a useless strike, wasn't it? Um, yeah, what else? What is this? this music? Music is an art form all in itself, and like, hey, listen to that. There's music in this. Somebody had to compose that. And, yeah, this is, you know, it's all the art forms put together. Maybe that's why I like it so much. It's like, patron of the arts, like, video games are, like, all arts combined, almost, really. Maybe not all, but maybe, like, I think interpretive dance or something like that. It's hard to put that in a video game. Unless it's a video game about interpretive dance. Or dance in general. No, specifically interpretive dance. Let me know if there's a video game like that. Oh, hey, Sensory Stone, what's happening? Good insects, okay, what are you doing, what are you doing, what are you doing? Oh. Watch, remember, live, this is the Watcher's mission. Ooh. Okay, there's backstory there, which I don't really understand. What was I saying? Video games, art, art and video games. And now we're falling. Free fall, what do you do? Yes, do it. Lose Clash. Lose Clash. Do it. Do it past me. Yay. Hey, with the latch on the wall. You've lost a card. You fool! You dang fool. Uh, slow blah, 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 blah. Okay, we're getting lost. What happens? Whispering voices. Receive two madness. What is madness again? What does madness do? Hover. There we go. Oh. Become cursed. Heal 22, lose 4, max HP. Well, I guess you do that. There we go. Easy peasy. Alrighty, moving on to the next fight. Now we're actually talking about... These ones are a pain in the butt. Thorns? I'm the only one allowed to have thorns. I'm the only one allowed to hurt you when you hurt me. That's, I'm looking at that Curse of the Bell card. Like, does it have an eyeball on its tongue? I think it does, or is that drool? I, I can't tell. It's a hell of a, hell of a bell. And of course, no blocks of the entrance. The entrance school might have been a- Whoa, I just realized what the background is. It's boons! I never noticed that the background- Well, I mean, I guess the foreground of this, guys. I never noticed it is boons because the cards are in front of it. We're in Bone Town. That sounded weird. Not the fun Bone Town, the other one. Like, you know, the, the one with all the bones. And now we've got a problem. These guys are annoying because they keep piling thorns on themselves, and that means you need block in order to hit them at all. Which is frustrating. Frustrating. It's when you grow fur because you're you're so mad. 
And why did you do that? Uh, dude, 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 dude. Why? Okay, right. Well, you're getting unlucky. The heart of the cards is not with you. But that's okay. That's okay. You can't win every time. Except you should at least try, Tommy. Alright, it look when curved flex. And. What is that? What's that? What's that? What are you doing? Bang. Ouch. And doing the math, doing the math, doing the math. How much damage do you feel like taking today? Not much. Don't take all the damage. That's bad. Very bad. Thorns. Actually, look at this. Looking at these things for a second, just hyper focusing on them. They're weird. What weird. What weird stuff is here? Actually, this is the part of the game. This, um. Damn it, I've forgotten what it's called. It was literally on screen earlier. I didn't look. Um. But yeah, it's like, this is the weird bit. This is the end game stuff where stuff gets weird, yo. Stuff gets real weird. Gets weird as heck. You've, like, got thorny thing. I almost said horny things. No. No horny. Bonk. Alright, 53 damage. Do it. 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 Wham. There we go. And you're just going to take 7 damage. Although... That probably wasn't your best move. I don't know. What is the best move? I don't know what the best move is. Shut it off. Defend. And, of course, Smash is useless. So, we do that instead. Yay! Now what are you going to do? I like how the Body Slam card doesn't actually depict anybody. Oh boy, here we go. So, um... I went into this fight and I proceeded to completely underestimate this fella. I thought I could take him. I mean, I can totally take him. Yeah, I win this one totally. Absolutely not, um... Absolutely not what I, uh... Not what I was suggesting. This guy doesn't beat me, of course. He's only got more than five times my health. And he's a giant head. How is he actually supposed to... How does he... How does he attack me? He looks like he can't move. Or maybe I'm just stupid. Am I stupid? I might be stupid. Actually, annoyingly, I think I've got exactly the build to deal with this guy, because he takes more damage the more damage you deal. <laughs> oh, but he keeps weakening, yeah. He keeps doing the weaken. He keeps doing the weaken! And defend, and crash, and streak. Oh dear. oh dear, oh dear, giant head, giant head doing giant head things. Oh, now I'm slipping. I'm allergic to giant head. I should stop saying weird things. But then what would my commentary be full of? Wham, okay, now what do you want? I forgot, I forgot what headbutt does. You get to put a thing on the thing. I think I was actually looking for inflame in here, and just, um, just, uh, I couldn't find it because I hadn't played it. Oh no. Oh no. That's bad. That's bad and terrible. And there we go. And the giant head does a giant head thing. One? One giant head. Who is going to hit me right in the head? And that is not great. It's uh, tremendously uh, bad, in fact. There we go. Come on. Flexing does nothing. So you know what to do. What am I saying? I know how this ends. Also, I just forgot what Demon Form does. Also, I should have played Flex first. Oh well. And 22 damage. Why are you still here? Good question. I don't know. This is the point where... Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, this is... Uh, this is... Uh... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We're doing great damage to the giant head. We got this, guys. We got this, guys. 
cheer me on. Hey, maybe there's a part three I didn't mention. For all I know, there could be a part three. I, see, it was a while since I've recorded this. I have no idea whatsoever uh, whether this would work. Or not. Um, alternatively, uh, dead. Okay, well, uh, you could probably have guessed that uh, this particular run, it didn't end in success, partly because I just straight up said that, so, yeah, that's Slay the Spire, that was my little fun foray into it after a long while of, uh, not being in it, and that's about it, really, so, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters and I will see you next time in Roguelike Commentary. Farewell.